Alrighty, here we go. Off for some harvest chasing in Cebu. A little bit after eight o'clock with Ariel and Ricky. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you for watching. What type of harvest is this? Cucumbers? Cucumbers. Wow, hanging from all the trestles here. Yes. <laughs> wow, for the market. Ambut, what am I going to do? Balance, Ron? Ilan kilo ang nagmuaday? Cucumbers are very cheap here, right? Kilos. Ilan eh? 20 kilos. 20 ba per kilo? 20 per kilo. 20 cucumbers for. 20 pesos for a kilo. 20 pesos for a kilo. That's pretty cheap. Is this expensive there? Uh, no, not really. It's a cheaper vegetable back in America, especially during the cucumber harvest. You can get like two cucumbers for like a dollar. Ooh, big, big squash. Mm. Very nice. Wow, the beautiful. And Ariel, will they sell in the market on Saturday? Oh no, they're gonna uh, they're gonna sell it to Cebu City. Cebu City. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, look at those white squash, yo. Yeah, needs a few more weeks to grow.
getting a couple bigger white squash. This one is cucumbers. Oh no, it's not. It's uh, how do you say sequa in English? This is not a cucumber. No, yeah, I guess it's not. Oh, it's ah, uh, yeah, it's cucumbers. Looks like a cucumber here. Yeah. No, but this one is different one. Different variety. Uh, oh no, no, not 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 uh. Not a cucumber. Not a cucumber. We call it here sequa, but I don't know the English term for it. Okay, so, uh, a zucchini, maybe. Maybe. We need to see a bigger one. Mm -hmm. So she picked her cucumber somewhere else around here. I guess so. Bigger one. No, uh, yeah, this one. The cucumber or that term. The other term. The, the, the sequa, yeah. Sequa. Then they got more. Yeah. See? This one is cucumber and that one is uh, sequa. So two types of two plants types growing of on these vines here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this one. Do you recognize it? No, I don't. I mean, it could, I mean, like, I would say, like, maybe a, perhaps a zucchini type. A zucchini, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Do you think there's, like, ever a time where there's a drought? Uh, yeah, yeah, before. And everything? Drought. So they they do have a drought here sometimes. It seems like the rain, you know, plenty of rain. Livestock? Yeah, there's, uh... For egg laying chickens. Those are for a egg laying. Oh wow. Wanna go there? Yeah, yeah. But I think it's uh, I see a lock on it. Okay. Some type is that the chicken smell? Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> oh we got doggy up there too. Hello, good morning. See those eggs? Oh yeah. Maybe Dylan had a little bit more chickens than this, her farm, but there's a lot of chickens in but there. Not anymore. They got rid of their chickens? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. That's cool. Vegetable. Not sure what it is. Um, Some type of root vegetable, or? Yeah, you, you. Uh, I think I said that it's very expensive there in Michigan. Huh. Um, it's not spinach, but yeah. The plant itself is a vegetable. Yeah, you can mm. eat those leaves here. Oh, okay. The the last time I think I made, uh, made the, the was salad. So, mm. Oh, she bought that. Yeah, she bought a lot of those last time we went to the market. Small farm here. Got a couple, uh, couple banana trees. He was not able to develop the entire two hectares. Oh, really? And how long? How long has she owned the farm? Pila pila ni katulad ni mga farm ti. Ah, si nunut ni siya manggini kanan. Ah, si inherited. Inherited. So in the family, many years. Two hectares, huh? Wow, very nice. Oh, all that you may develop in Anna or Batu on that door. I didn't about any day. I didn't give an eye for that pata. Yeah, in Anna, I took my book to a pretty mother go on top of the book, but I'm not in a matu garden. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
And did the typhoon affect her bad or? Okra. Yes. They also grow okra? Yeah, over there. Mm. But they just planted it. Mm. After the time. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye. Bye. We got some farming, plowing time. The tractor of the Philippines, the big carabao. <laughs> Slow process. Hey.
Got a big rock in the way here. <laughs> Tough day. Hey. No. Not easy when maneuvering around a big rock. Rock. With the carabao. Big rock of the carabao. The big rock. How many carabao do you own? Just one. One carabao. Just one. And how many hectares do you farm? There are so many hectares. Many hectares? Oh, he's there taking so a little many. banana leaf. Oh, oh. Banana. <laughs> yeah, Ricky's got a uh, family in this area. Ricky is a farmer, so he knows what he's uh, doing, trying to uh, find some harvest for us. But it's pretty cool to see that carabao uh, plow the field. Now I'm just going up here to check out some construction action. Bag of cucumbers to go. Holy cow. Any pigs over there? We got a dog on the hill up here. Hopefully they like Americano. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> yeah. Is he on a leash? He's just barking. Oh, you could get to see the house now. The houses. Yeah. Before we, you, we, you cannot see over there. You cannot view the house. My Bhutang. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? <laughs> We're in Ricky's land right now. This is very beautiful because like the typhoon 
destroyed a lot of trees so now you can see a whole lot farther than before we got some farmers here carrying something on their head good morning my bootang what do you have Batong. String beans. String beans. String beans. Oh. How many kilo? 30 kilo. 30 kilo. Wow. Oh, those are the long ones? Yeah, yeah those are the, the long, long ones. ones. Oh. Anti gay like the long ones. Those are long. Those are cool. A little bit more muddier over here. <laughs> wow, look at the typhoon do some damage to this home. We got a small little cornfield right here. Sweet corn. Probably a couple months away from harvesting. Maybe another month or so. Typhoon did some damage to the home over here. Tree down. Oh, we got the pigs too. My bootang. Any piglets? Oh, just one big pig. Oh, we got a lot of baby rabbits here. Look at the baby rabbits. Oh wow, four of them. We got more rabbits over there. Mm. Oh, right in here. Oh, no, it's not. It's a, a mother cow. Oh, it's a big cow. This is, this is where the cow uh, spends the day eating. Yeah. Sleeping at night. Sleeping at night. Sleeping at night. You think the cow um, lays down in that position too? Yeah. Yeah, it can lay down. They, they don't want the cow to move uh, that much. They want it to get fat. Then they're gonna. Then they're gonna sell it from sell the meat. Ah, what on the lang nato? What on the dia trunk na? Ah, si. Mama ni mo. Kato. Kapal ng kuwet. Kuwet na mo. Dato na mo lang. Dong. Alas manding mo lang. Alas manding dong.
She gonna go get some coconut? Yeah. She's gonna use the... the What is she saying, Ariel? There's no flesh. Oh, it's not uh, ripe yet? Yeah, it's not. You want to drink some water? Sure. That's what they used to get the field cultivated. Yes. Okra. We got some okra right here. Yeah, this is uh, Ricky's family farm. His sister lives here. No electricity. <laughs> Very uh, difficult life. Manual living. Manual living, as Ariel says. But uh, we donated a thousand peso for some food. Oh. We got three carabelle here. Looks like a big one right here. Ah, it's very nice. And we got a smaller carabelle over here. Yeah, baby carabelle. Probably a mama carabelle right here. It's the water buffalo of the Philippines. Look at the horns on that one. Got some big horns.
Farmer Ricky here taking a little break, kind of steep on the climb back. Ario going ahead, he's a little slow. <laughs> Still have a ways to go back to the multi clam. There's my dog friend, he's not barking anymore. It looks like here comes our coconut delivery. Ah, yeah, Fresh coconut. coconut. Fresh from the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes the, the water right here. Nice water. Yeah. Green stuff. You can drink this water? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's very clean. Woo. Oh, yeah. Can I have another 100? Yeah, no problem. Four coconut for a hundred peso? Yeah. Two hundred peso here. Fresh coconut. <laughs> and get back on the road again. place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i be in my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious in panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness
What is this called again, Ario? Alobati here. Alobati? Maybe spinach. Spinach. Kimchi. Ooh, and they wash it. Wash the spinach. Yo, let's go buy some, Joe. I think he loves it. Yeah, yeah. Look at those cucumbers. Wow. I am Boontang. <laughs> She's the one that's cleaning them up, picking them out. Ariel, do they carry that whole thing on their head? Or on a motorbike? I'm going to use a truck. A truck. Put it on a truck. Yes. How many kilos? For the basket. One hundred kilos. One hundred Oh, is this for us, Ariel? Yeah. How much? Yeah. Thirty pesos. Why don't we buy three? You want three? Yeah, give to other family, Auntie Chang. You think? Oh, okay. Or, uh, another, <laughs> another, or just another one or two? Well, two more, I think. Two. two. And we give them a hundred. Three for a hundred. Open <coughs> Auntie. Kunin lag duha para one hundred. I'm going to add more.
bicycle farm adventure. We're heading back to Sibonga now, back home. And um, that is straight ahead this way. And over there above on the other side, we were over on the other side of the mountains, farmland. Hope you enjoy the video today. Thank you for watching.